Hello, my name's Abby and I'm married to Steve and we have three boys, William who's 10, Edward who's four and Harry who has just turned one. And I'm just going to spend a few moments um, talking to you about how we try to pray as a family. And I say try because it's a challenge. It's a challenge to find the time and sometimes the space. So for me, um, I'm a teacher and I have a 20 minute commute to and from work and that's my time, that's my quiet time to be reflective, um, to pray about the things that are concerning me, to thank God for the things that I am grateful for and to ask for his guidance on the things that I'm not sure about. And so I do a lot of my praying on my commute to and from work. As a family, we try to make prayer important in our home as well. Um, so when we moved into our current home and became a family, we wrote a family prayer, which we use um, before we go on holiday, perhaps before we make a long journey. It's just something short and sweet that we did as a family, but that we can all say and join in with together. And it's asking God to keep us safe um, on our travels and during our family time. So that's something else we do. Um, because we have child three children of very different ages, um, their prayer, their understanding of prayer um, is very different. So with our one-year-old, when I pop him to bed every night, I simply um, say a blessing over him, asking for God's protection and guidance on his life. And we've done that with all three of them. And it's something that the older they get when they start speaking that they might join in with. But it's a very simple prayer and it's part of our bedtime routine after stories. With Edward, who is four, um, we try and involve him now so he can tell us about his day. So we start uh, the prayer by thanking God for him and for thanking him for all the fun things that he's done that day. Um, and that's a way of getting Edward to acknowledge that he's had lots of fun in a day, what he's done. Um, and then we also say, um, we ask them, we ask him to pray for all the people that he loves. And that changes on a day-to-day -day basis depending on what mood he's in. So that could be close family and friends such as grandparents and aunties. Um, it might be um, his friends at nursery or our wider circle of friends um, that we see um, at weekends and during the holidays and things. Um, so we always pray for other people as well. So that we try to encourage them not to be simply praying for things that they need or want, but for other people as well and remembering those other people in their lives and, and how important they are to them and then we um, include the blessing in our prayers for him as well. With William at 10 it's an even bigger challenge but one that we try to do as well. So um, a couple of years ago um, we go to the Keswick Convention each year um, and there is a Christian um, band who play there called Awesome Cutlery. Google it and um, you will find their array of brilliant songs um, and they do a little booklet as well of devotionals. So a little bit of Bible study includes a prayer and includes knowing, um, in, sort of introducing a bit of the Bible. So we did that with William, that's a great thing to do over tea time or in those few minutes when the little ones have gone to bed and he's still up. And then more recently um, I did want to show you the devotionals, but I can't put my hand on it at the moment. Um, more recently, um, he's into adventure, um, and Bear Grylls has written a book. Um, Soul Fuel for Young Explorers. Um, and we are using this um, to dip in and out of at night, um, and that is also helping us to, um, to think about our prayers as well. So... Um, with faith, friends, positive action and a never give up attitude, you can achieve so much in your life. That's what soul, um, soul Fuel for Young Explorers is really about. It's the kind of fuel I rely on every day to keep me strong and keep me moving forward. Like a fire steel or a, or a length of good rope. My faith is another essential tool in my survival gear, but it's so much more. It's my backbone, the anchor in the storm and the greatest source of any strength I have. Um, and that's just the, the blurb on the back from Bear Grylls. But um, a good way of getting, we're finding William involved in his faith and thinking about his faith and therefore prayer is through something that interests him, such as Bear Grylls and anything to do with adventure. 
Um, so it might be that um, if you have an older child, you can use a tool such as this to help in prayer. Something that we need to get better at as a family um, in turn is praying together. Um, so we pray with the children when they go to bed. Um, I pray to and from on my way home to and from school. Um, and I'm sure my husband does as well. But we do acknowledge that we need to get better at um, praying about the situations in our lives as, as a family unit. Um, and that's something that we're really focusing on um, at the moment. But as a starting point, it's good that we all do pray individually and that we as the adults in the household pray um, with each of the children as well. So I hope that just gives you a bit of food for thought on how you might begin or develop the prayer in your household with your own children.